I am making six meals for under $12. How am I doing that? I am going to be getting a lot of help from my pantry staples. We always buy our meats in bulk at Sam's Club. I want to go out and check my supplies before I put these meals together. For meats, I have a roast. I have some burgers, three packs of chicken, which those contain four chicken breasts each. Lots of hamburger, some chicken sausage and chorizo type sausage and then a nice sized steak. I needed a few items from the grocery store to make these meals complete. We have a tomato. I got a five pound bag of potatoes, an onion. I got two red peppers. One of them was supposed to be a green pepper but they substituted it for a red pepper instead. A bag of salad and a bag of carrots. Kicking off the week with a simple dinner, I am going to cook up some sausage with peppers and onions. I'm gonna take those peppers, onions, and potatoes that I just purchased at the store, and I'm going to turn them into a delicious dinner tonight. A week or so I had purchased some sausages at Sam's Club. Tonight I'm gonna to make the chorizo sausage, but I need to go out and grab it out of my refrigerator. I was gonna say I'm slicing and dicing onions, but I'm not dicing, I'm just slicing because I want to keep them in thinner slices to go in the pan to flavor up these sausages. This red pepper has a ton of seeds in it. Good grief, this is gonna be a big cleanup. This one didn't have as many seeds, but it almost looks like it has a baby pepper growing inside of it. Look at that. Isn't that weird? And then it has over here. I could have ended up with like two or three peppers for the price of one. Bam! I had to, I couldn't resist. <laughs> Let's get some heat going. I want to hear them peppers and onions sizzling. I'm gonna make my house smell yummy. I added just a little bit of olive oil. Now I'm gonna nestle these sausages right in there. There's a lot of flavor going on in that pan. I have six potatoes. I've cut them into wedges. And I'm adding them to my air fryer. I'm gonna give them a spray with this Pam olive oil spray. And for seasoning, I'm gonna use this 21 Seasoning Salute by Trader Joe's. We don't have a Trader Joe's in our area. Everybody was off the rails talking about this seasoning. I was like, I need to try that seasoning. Found it online, I'll have it linked below. Give this a little shake. Spray it with some more olive oil spray, a little more seasoning. Shake and in the air fryer. I set my air fryer on 380 for 10 minutes. I'm gonna give them a really good stir and put them back in. If they look like they're almost done but not quite, I'll usually do 380 for eight more minutes. Just depends on how much they're cooked. Look at this plate of deliciousness. Oh, it smells so good. But I also like a little bit of mustard on my plate too to dip my sausage into. I'm starving. You guys ready to eat? Yep, yeah. Today's a meal we absolutely love. It is a Chinese fried chicken meal. Tonight's meal is coming straight out of my pantry. I have some batter that I need to get used up. I need rice. I cut up four boneless skinless chicken breasts into chunks. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this batter. The oil is heating up in my electric fry pan and I also have my oven set to warm as well as a cookie sheet setting out waiting for the batches to go on to. I'm gonna keep those batches warm in my oven as I am working through this process. This meal is so good but so messy. Usually it's the messy ones that are the best though, isn't it? I am making fried rice, so I want to check my freezer because I'm almost positive I have some peas and carrots right there. And I have some egg rolls, so I'm gonna get those in the air fryer too. For my fried rice, I start, I'm starting off with a sesame seed oil in the pan, heating it up just a little bit. I already made a few cups of minute rice. I'm gonna go ahead and add the frozen peas and carrots, let them thaw out with that rice. I'm adding some onion powder and garlic powder. And I also cooked up some eggs in the microwave. I have about three scrambled eggs in here. I'm gonna add that to the pan in just a few minutes, along with soy sauce. All right, Jason is taste testing. Gotta get a carrot. Gotta get, a, yeah, a little bit of everything. Perfect. Oh, yay! My guys devoured this. 
Mesquite grilled chicken is the perfect midweek meal. The marinade that I'm using is this one by McCormick Grillmates. It is a mesquite marinade. I received this as a gift from my friend Christy, so thank you Christy, we are going to enjoy this tonight. The marinade is really simple. You just put a fourth cup of oil with a fourth cup of water and the seasoning into the bag, add your chicken, and let it set for the day. I have mine all mixed up and sitting in the refrigerator. I'm gonna let it sit there for the afternoon. Look what I just found in my potato bin in my pantry. I completely forgot that I had them. I'm gonna get these out and I'm gonna see if they're still good. They look like they're okay. This one may be a little questionable. Once I start cutting it, I'll know more, but this one looks like it's good. And this, I had purchased some baking potatoes a while ago um, and I only have this one left. So I am gonna use that. I think sweet potatoes mixed in with regular potatoes in the air fryer will be a really super good side dish. I am gonna use this can of peas for another side to go with that chicken. I am pleasantly surprised. Every single one of those potatoes are good. I added some more of the red potatoes that I'm still working on. I need to figure out seasonings for these potatoes. I definitely am going to be using some olive oil spray. We purchased this at a farmer's market last year, so I think that's gonna go really good on the potatoes. Switch things up this summer and throw something on the grill. Keep the heat outside so your house stays nice and cool on warm days. Grilling is so fun and freeing. You can escape the kitchen and explore different foods and recipes to add to your usual dinner. Cooking outside with a light breeze, sun shining, and the birds chirping, there's just nothing like it. I have a busy day today and the crock pot is gonna help me put together a delicious roast meal. In my crock pot, I have about six to eight bouillon cubes. I am pouring in three cups of water some Snyder's rib and roast seasoning, a frozen roast, some of the onion that I purchased from the store, the carrots that I purchased from the store. I quartered up some of those potatoes as well. Put my crock pot on low and slow and dinner is cooking for the day. So then I started thinking, I wonder if I have bread dough out in my freezer because that would round out this meal perfectly. I have gravy on just about everything but the bread, and I also have some A1 steak sauce on it as well. We are ready to kick off the weekend by grilling a steak. That makes Friday just perfect. Ooh, I only have five cans of mushrooms. I'm gonna use three of those tonight. These are the steaks that we're using. If you remember, just a few videos ago, we had went to Sam's Club and they were like $5 off that day. So we're gonna get these used up. For seasonings, we're using Montreal steak seasoning and wood-fired garlic. You can find this at Sam's Club too. We decided not to heat up the house again tonight and we are going to be grilling these steaks. Honestly, grilled steaks are the best. I've added a little bit of butter to melt in with the mushrooms and the onions. For us, it's just not complete without topping our steak with mushrooms and onions. We're serving salad on the side and I'm gonna have Italian fat free and Jason's gonna have Dorothy Lynch home style dressing. The seasonings on this steak took it over the top while the grilling flavor helped too. <laughs> Rounding out our week of delicious meals, we are gonna to put together hobo dinners. This is an easy meal to put together. Now that I have the hamburger patties on a square of aluminum, I need to season them. Tonight I'm gonna to use onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. But of course you can use any kind of seasonings that you and your family enjoy. I'm gonna slice up a tomato and an onion. I love sliced canned potatoes on mine. Now this is just optional. You can add any ingredients that you want to your hobo dinner. Now comes the fun part. And that is the layering of all of these delicious items that we just chopped up and prepared. 
Any potatoes that are left over, we cook those up for a side dish. Sometimes we cook these in the oven, but because it is so gorgeous outside, I'm gonna keep all the heat out here and cook them on the grill. I have four hamburger buns in my pantry, so these are coming with me. For condiments, you can use ketchup, mustard, mayo, or basically whatever sounds good to you. Barbecue sauce, you can even add cheese. And that is how you eat like a hobo. <gasps> Two takes! Did I do it? You nailed it! <laughs> dancing, dancing, yeah! Party in the house, party in the house. <laughs> Here's two more videos for you to watch. One of them is pantry items you can't live without. And also I have a weekly grocery haul, meal plan, and a cook with me. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon.